サノバウィッチ。なんだか眠そうだね、星野くん。Mm hmm, it was a little busy last night, so I completely lost track of time. Base, that's it. I hand on it. Joshua, do you? Hon ba made me n a n t o a n a r i s o Well, I'll make it one way or another. Trakunai, Heki? Playing the bass guitar itself isn't a chore. Since I'm a beginner and all, it's actually fun. The real struggle is having to deal with my exhaustion the next day after I inevitably stay up super late practicing. My prior experience helps a ton. While I still need to practice all the finger motions and shifting, I do still remember the knacks of it, so it makes the process a lot speedier. But yeah, that's all beginner's knowledge, anyways, so it's not worth a whole lot. I know, I will. I'd be putting all my hard work to waste if I couldn't attend the party. Thanks, but at the moment, it's all on me. Oi, Hoshina! So, 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 Yeah, coming. Gambate, Tanoshimini Sterukara, Bando. Don't put any more pressure on me. Ima Kara Sonanja, Hombanga Taihenda Yo. Well, the plan is to work my butt off so that doesn't happen. Anyways, bye. Say hi to the girls for me. Wakata, Mata Astane. Sorry, I'm ready now. Oh, hora, Hayaku, Anostajo, Jacani Kibishin da Kara. Kadia and I leave school and head to practice. So, 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 限界はありますがそれだけ頑張ってるなら本番も期待できますかね星野くんまだ自信なさそうだったから本人の前でそういうこと言うのは禁止だよまだそんな状態なんですかやっぱり不安始めたばっかりなんだからそういう自信は生まれるものじゃなく積み重ねるものだよさあ私たちはちゃんと試験勉強を頑張りましょう。はいって言いたいのは山々なんですけどね。ぷー。ねんね先輩、どうしたんですそんな子供みたいにほっぺを膨らませて。正直、とっても楽しそうです。はは、焼いてるんですよ、はやちさん。焼いてるって星名くんがベースの練習ばっかりで一緒にいられないからそこも気になる部分ではあるんですがあもしかして狩谷先輩と一緒に楽しそうにしていることが気になりますぶーああつぼしっぽい。ふふふ、あやちさんって可愛らしいねでもそうですよねスタジオを借りてカリア先輩と二人っきりなんてそりゃ彼女としては心配しますよねもしベースじゃなくカリア先輩に入れ込んだりしてたら<笑>こーら無責任に不安を煽るようなこと言っちゃダメ真剣に頑張ってる星野くんに対しても失礼ってものだよそうだよそれに今のあやつさんにそんなことを言ったら修二くんとカリアさんが狭い密室に二人きりで手と手を取り合い楽器という名のお互いの体をかき鳴らしてねんね先輩意外とおっさんくさいというかあやつさん大丈夫目に正気がないし体もプルプル震えてるけど結構危なくない
そんな修二君がまさかそんなことあるわけがでも今日もあんなに楽しそうに出かけていってスタジオでは二人でガガフリーズした大丈夫だよ綾地さん星名君が綾地さんの虜なのは周りから見ててもわかるぐらいなんだから愛されてるよそうだよ星名君の様子なら心配なんてする必要はないよそれは分かってます修二君はそんなことするなんて思ってもいませんそんな度胸もなさそうですしね本妻と浮気相手が鉢合わせてるような状況に普通でいられるほど高端じゃないでしょうからうーんそれは褒めているのかけなしているのか微妙なところだねい,いえ完全にけなしてる方向だと思いますよ分かってはいるんですが私以外の人とあんなに楽しそうな表情で過ごしてると思うとどうしても嫌なんです刈谷さんのことが嫌いとかそういうことでは決してありませんそれにこんな嫉妬をする自分もどうかと思うんですがどうしても落ち着かなくて。うん、わかるよ頭で分かってても心では納得できないことなんだよねそんな感じですそういえば先輩たちってクラスも違いましたっけ放課後が潰れちゃうってなるとデートもできないですねお昼は一緒なんだよねはい修二君が倒れたりしないようにちゃんと栄養を考えたお弁当を作って一緒に食べてますそれでも足りないんだ話をまとめると過ごせる時間が減っちゃった上にそれが他の女の子と一緒にいるっていうのが気になるとたとえ浮気じゃないと分かっていても楽しそうだから余計にって感じかな。なんだか恋する乙女だね、はやちさんねね先輩がこんなにメロメロになるなんてなんかちょっと意外ですねそれが恋ってものなんだよ、きっといいなぁ、恋こういう姿を見ると憧れちゃうね戸隠し先輩ならすぐに恋人ができそうに思いますけどね恋人を作ることと戸隠し先輩本人が恋愛をすることは違うんじゃないのかなでも今のねね先輩を見る限り恋愛するって大変そうですよ確かにそういう面もあるだろうけどそれだけじゃないからこそあやちさんがこんなに幸せそうなんじゃないそれに恋愛が辛いだけならみんな結婚とかしなくなっちゃうよそれは確かに。一緒にいることは重要だけどそれだけが恋愛じゃないってことだよきっとほなんだか深いねさすが夫なまあ漫画と小説で得た知識なんだけどねそうですねすれ違いがお互いの絆を深めることもありますよねそういうことも分かってはいるんですがやっぱり素直に受け入れることはできないかそれも仕方ないよねだって好きなんだからそういうストレスってよくないんじゃないですかね本番のためにも変なしこりは残さない方がいいとは私も思うなそういう時は今の状況を楽しめばいいんじゃないかな状況を楽しむさっきあやちさんが言ったことだよすれ違いがお互いの絆を深めることもあるってだからそうなるようにこの状況も二人の併用にしちゃえばいいんじゃないあのそれってどういうことですかどうすればそんなことができるんでしょうかヨーガスここは一つお姉さんがいいジュラシプレイもといいいいイベントを提案いたしましょう
Wow, it's already time. Alright, kind of a bummer. I wanted to practice some more, but oh well. You're right. Okay, let's stop here. <sighs> Just wondering if I'll ever get better at this cursed instrument. I mean, I still can't even get my fingers to move the way I want now, so how long is it gonna be before I can play this song from start to finish? I did retain all the knowledge, but getting my body to relearn everything isn't so easy. True, I'm not super dexterous to begin with either. I shouldn't be racking my brains over this after a few days of practice. I have plenty of other hurdles to overcome first. Let's hope I can get there before the party. I'll do my very best. Thanks, I'll use it right away. Sure, fine by me. I think... Hmm? I just felt a pair of eyes on my back for a split second. A very familiar pair of eyes, too. Wait, don't tell me. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't come. Bye. I said bye to her, but who knows if she actually heard it. She took flight like a deer being chased. Alright. I get ready to turn around, but before I can move an inch, I feel a light impact and a soft warmth coil itself around my arm. An all too familiar, rosy sweet aroma fills my nose. She's clinging to my arms, putting on her best pouty face. I had a feeling it was her. So, um, what are you doing here? You could have just given me a call or something. No, no, there's nothing going on between us. Of course not, but you did scare me a bit when you suddenly ran over and latched onto me. Ah, the soft, fluffy sensation of her boobs. Why are you even gonna mark me, Nene? You're not a dog. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Well, it's the smell of my girlfriend. You gotta remember, I'm gonna be in the mood non-stop if I'm constantly smelling your smell. And that's not good. Well, because I meant it in a sexual sense. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, I don't really want that, but I'm more than happy to have you cling onto my arm. Absolutely, as long as it's my arm. I'm gonna be mad if you go latch yourself onto some other guy's arm. Also, um, try not to do it with girls either. Yeah, sorry, it just bothers me seeing you get all touchy-feely with someone else. Sure, for however long you want. But I might jump and give you a big hug instead. Same here, but I don't nearly have the balls to kiss in front of other people. Ready to go now? Fine with me, but are you sure? You don't want to go home and relax or anything? Same for me, and that'll never change. I guess she was right, we haven't had much time to ourselves lately. Her jealousy is only natural, and as her boyfriend, it's my duty to do something to make her feel better. Nene. Nene. Hi. Nene. Hi, Shuji-kun. Nene. Shuji-kun. Our gazes lock, and we stare into each other's eyes. Upon doing so, I feel a variety of gazes piercing me, some exasperated, some heartwarming, some irritated, some jealous. Apparently, they're blatant enough to register to someone without my ability. Nene's face went from sweet and delighted to uncomfortable and downcast in embarrassment. Ready to head to my place? So, so this, the two of us flee the scene, our cheeks dyed scarlet. Thanks so much, Nene. She just finished rubbing ointment on my aching fingers. Man, just feeling her hands is enough to soothe my soul. That also motivates me to work harder towards the performance, in order to repay all the kindness she shows me. The food you made for dinner filled me right up, so I think I can keep going for a bit longer. Um, why are you staring at me like that? You're making me a little uncomfortable. I guess, but just to warn you, I'm still not past the basics. I won't be able to play much of anything for you. Hard to say no to that. But I'm serious. I'm not at a level good enough to play in front of others. Though, to be fair, I probably wasn't for the performance last time either. Okay. Still nervous because of how god awful I am at this instrument, I start to practice for her. Phew, time for a little break. Oh no, I'm not thirsty or anything. So anyways, what do you think? I know it's hard to judge me when I'm not very far, but any comments would help me a lot. Thank you. I just hope I managed to learn the song by the day of the party. 
I made a whole lot of mistakes last time, so I'm not sure you could call that just fine. I want to do a better job this time. I'm sorry, Nina. We haven't had quality alone time in a while, and all I'm doing is whining to you. Really? It honestly makes me feel a little wimpy as a guy. And I was even griping to Karia about this exact same stuff earlier. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I just can't stop all my worries and fears from coming out. Plus, the longer I take to get my crap together, the less time we can spend together. Look, nothing's gonna happen between us. Not now, nor ever. The thing is though, I'm making so little progress, it's actually making me lose heart a bit. Ah, sorry, I know you didn't come here for my pity party. I appreciate the thought, but this is a problem I'm gonna have to solve on my own. A reward? What kind of reward are we talking here? By anything, do you mean anything at all? As a teenage guy, hearing whatever you want naturally steers your mind towards sexual things. But the weirdest thing is, Nene knows that. It even seems like she said anything with that specifically in mind. Her face is red as a tomato and she's looking down at the floor. What else could that mean? Yes, yes, yes! I'm super motivated. I'm gonna work my butt off even if it kills me. No, no, I promise I'm not. This isn't something really naughty. It's something omega naughty. But why are you getting on my case? I know you had something naughty in mind when you said it could be anything. <laughs> her body jolts up after I flip the question back on her. She just fidgets around embarrassedly, no denial. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be necessary. Nothing sexual? So we can't have sex? No, look, I'm just talking about plain normal sex. Well, not the sex we had last time for starters. Blindfolds and vibrators are too kinky for normal. You thought it was? Are you kidding me? Seriously, Nene is a force to be reckoned with. What about kissing? Hugging? Holding hands? Hugging? 
一緒に食事をするのもかですああ、we can そこまで禁止しちゃったら今度はフラストレーションでどうにかなっちゃいますから So we'll keep eating lunch together like usual? はい、そうですね So my nene lunches won't be going anywhere, thank goodness By the way, does this go into effect like right now? そうですね、今から有効です Uh oh Man, we've still got a few weeks until the party. And once we start practicing as a group, I'll have my work cut out for me even more. However, I think I'll be able to endure and work hard with a positive mindset if I just tell myself it's for the sake of the party and the reward awaiting me after. Still, I just wish I'd known in advance so I could stockpile all the hugs and kisses and touches and everything. The party is approaching fast, but it's still a long time to go without any intimacy with your girlfriend. De, but, 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 Normally, people wrap their pinkies and make a pinky promise when they agree to something, but maybe a kiss could also be normal. So, this is the same thing. So, this is the same thing. So, this is the She lifts her chin and slowly closes her eyes. After a brief delay, I move my mouth towards hers slowly and relish the sensation of her sweet, sweet lips. I told myself I'd go for a light kiss, but it's impossible. I can't hold back. I want to feel her tongue. I want to feel my nene. Desire wells up inside me, overtaking me as I strongly embrace her slender body. She begs me for more with a sweet, succulent voice. To answer her, I thrust my tongue in and invade her mouth without a moment of hesitation, licking here, there, and everywhere. Same here, it feels so good I can't control myself. I focus all my effort on the spot Nana told me feels the best. As I do that, I pour my overflowing saliva into her mouth. Just like how she wanted to mark me earlier, I thoroughly ravage the insides of her mouth to claim her as my own. You don't like it? Yours too. She moves her tongue around frantically and with vigor, trying to pour her saliva into my mouth as well. But it's still not enough. I want more. Much more. 
Right as that desire crosses my mind, I strengthen my grip on her. Nina herself is pressing her pelvic region roughly against me, conveying that she wants to feel hotter still. Nene, stick out your tongue. I wrap my tongue around hers and suck on it with force. Nene, you are so cute. Still in my arms, she wriggles her hips impatiently as she pants over and over. I know she's not panting because I'm hugging her too tight. The way she has her legs closed tight, rubbing her thighs together, she's obviously fighting against some sort of desire. God, hearing her heated breaths right next to me is too much. Nene. I know we were supposed to seal our promise, but I don't think I can stop now. Yeah. We entwine our tongues once more and dump saliva into the other's mouth. The saliva exchange continues and I reach out to grope her breast when suddenly... Mm. Our eyes flip wide open, our lips still connected. Before the horror leaves our faces, the door opens. Welcome home. We are both still bewildered by the sudden intrusion. I can't look him in the eye, and then, well, she has her back turned to him to hide the fact that her face is bright red. All in all, the atmosphere in this room is awkward beyond awkward. No, not at all. I get you are trying to be considerate, but please don't. Calm down, you don't have to leave. I said stop trying to be considerate, just calm down. It wouldn't even matter if he left now, the mood we had going is completely gone. Dad is going nuts and I'm over here still mad that our sexy time was ruined because of him. But yeah, we went way overboard with our oath kiss, so I'm not too upset. Thus, with that one final passionate makeout session, our period of abstinence had begun. We both wanted to have sex, but also knew that if we did it once, we would do it again and again, and our promise would mean nothing. Sanoba Witchy.